Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So we are back with the Conway family, our teen mom Sim and her son Jack. They're currently asleep. Oh, I guess Jack's decided he's now afraid of the dark. All right, I tell you what, Jack, go get, why don't you go get into bed with your mum if you're scared of the dark. Off you go, go on. Yeah, it's uh, Friday night. I was going to play through until Friday morning and then start filming. However, couple minutes into loading my game, I got a certain notification. Fuck is this? Crystal, you little hussy. It's probably my own fault. That's what I get for giving you so much freedom. So yeah, turns out Crystal's been swanning around the city, got herself knocked up by some of the local riffraff. So that's now something we have to deal with. I guess she's got more in common with her owner than I thought. So yeah, she's going to get a bit fat over the next couple of days. I can't remember how long cats are pregnant for. For some reason I thought, I initially thought it was like two days. But I think I've had like a cat before that's given birth after like a day of finding out they're pregnant. So, oh no, did you have a nightmare? Try and go back to sleep. Look, you've got Crystal there sleeping at the bottom of the bed. She'll protect you. So yeah, there we go. Thought I'd just uh, bring you up to speed on this new development. So, my plan for today... Oh, Brooke, why don't you go and um, I'm going to actually have you serve breakfast because we're probably going to run out of leftovers soon. So Brooke got herself into burnout in the last episode. So I'd quite like to try and help her through that. Don't slam the fridge door. So today is Friday. I think we're going to take a day off work today. I think she needs it. We'll take a vacation day. Maybe if you spoke with less attitude. She's like shouting at her boss over the phone. Okay, that might help with our burnout. We've got eight hours of burnout. Um, so I'm thinking once Jack heads off to school, maybe we'll invite our mum friend. What's her name? I want to say Rachel. Yeah, Rachel. Maybe we'll go to the park and play some chess because we've got creative burnout. And I don't want to leave Brooke at home. Because when she's at home, she just autonomously starts doing paintings and things. And that's not really helping the situation. Um, Jack, I'm going to wake you up because you've got school soon. Why don't you go take a shit, help mum out by cleaning out the spoiled food, and then by the time you've done that, breakfast will be ready. Yeah, so we'll see if we can enjoy our day off today, see if we can maybe recover from burnout. There's not much point going to work anyway if we're not going to get a promotion. Where did we leave off? I think level four? Yeah, level four of the painting career. I think as we play with Brooke, we will reach the top of this career. Maybe mop up that. I think that's... I think Crystal had an accident. She's got a little bit of pressure on her bladder, it seems. How many do you have in there? That's what I want to know. Might be a good opportunity to introduce Jack to our boyfriend as well. You know, we became boyfriend and girlfriend with Patrick in the last episode, so I feel like it's only right he should meet our son. Maybe I'll get Patrick to come over and babysit so they can have some guy time. And then we'll take Rachel, I don't know, to the bar or something. Or maybe we'll just go see our parents. We haven't been home much. And then the only other thing I wanted to achieve today, I mean, as far as Jack is concerned, he's doing so well. He's an A student. He's doing well with his skills. I mean, potentially could do with more creativity. But, you know, all kids have strengths and weaknesses. My only goal for Jack really is to get him to actually learn to ride a bike. We started that in the last episode, but... Don't critically assess the painting, but I would like to get that finished today. Okay, Jack, off you go to school. And then Brooke, oh, she's being nice. We can't look at you, Crystal, but we will be nice. How about we put on some normal clothes? We'll actually make the most of our day off. We're not just gonna sit around all day watching TV. We have creative burnout. So maybe if we take Rachel to the park, we could play some chess and then maybe we could go, oh, wrong neighborhood. And then maybe we could go for brunch or something afterwards. Hey girl, how's it going? Oh, only four hours left of burnout. This is good, being at the park is helping. Come on, Rachel, come join. We're gonna play some chess. Yeah, we might be able to just recover from this burnout within a day, hopefully. Oh wait, why is it going up? Playing chess shouldn't be pushing it up. We had creative burnout. Okay, fine, we'll stop, we'll stop. What if we go fishing together then? That's not stress inducing, fishing. There we go. Okay, that's bringing burnout down. Great, little bit of leisurely activity, some fishing. And we'll go for a nice meal afterwards. All right, let's just fast forward through time. So we're it's going down, less than a minute left. Oh, no longer burned out. 
We did it. We overcame burnout in just a few hours. Well done, Brooke. Right, well, let's head to the restaurant because if we go there now and we order our food, then we might just get our f we might just get our food by lunchtime. We'll go to the tropical restaurant and bar. Okay, come on, Rachel, my treat. This one's on me, girl. Don't you worry. Let's request a table. How are your needs doing? You're tired. Maybe when we go home, we'll take a nap. Catherine's caught. Uh, okay. She calls me like four or five times a day. I guess I can answer this time. Maybe you should step out the queue though if you're gonna to talk to your mum rather than inconvenience everyone. Okay, shall we order for the table? Just a couple of girls out for brunch. I think cocktails are definitely in order. Um, sour punch? Yeah, why not? Sour punch. Um, and then for our main course, I mean, there isn't really much choice. So I guess we'll just go for chef's choice. I wonder if our spots will ever go away. Maybe when we get home, I'll try and... We'll, we'll just have a little face wash and see if that makes any difference. Because we've had those spots since we were a teen. And I'm starting to think we may never recover. Oh, this is nice, isn't it? Just maybe a little bit of chit-chat. We are friends with Rachel, but I'd like to get even closer. I'd like for us to become best friends. We don't have a best friend. And you know, friendships are just, if not more, important than a romantic interest. So, she's loyal. Oh, cool she is. I think we should brighten her day. Why did you go up to the bar to order a drink when you've just ordered? Fucking idiot. Right, just sit down and have a nice time. Discuss interests. Ooh, deep conversation. There we go. Oh, I think that's our food. See, I told you, we came here in the morning. Outgoing? Yes. Yes, we're outgoing. I told you if we came here in the morning, we'd get our food by lunchtime. I mean, it's almost two o'clock, but still. Oh no, poor quality sour punch. What do you think, Rachel? Is it good? Oh, she didn't react to it. And silence falls in the area when the food comes. Okay, well, Jack's going to be home from school in about an hour, so I think we'll head off after this, and then I think we'll have to take a nap. Oh, oh, we got a sentiment. You're so fun to be around. I really enjoy spending time with you, and I hope you feel the same way about me too. Oh, we do, Rach. We do. Okay, end meal and pay the bill. Okay, let's head home. It was nice seeing you, Rachel. See you again soon. See if we can get a little bit of peace before Jack comes home. Okay, let's go take a nap. Oh, also, I mentioned in the last video that um, it would be good if we had a bit more space. So I have built a house that we can potentially move into. We do, we do have to save up, though. I think it was about 16,000 simoleons, something like that. So we've got a lot of saving to do, but thankfully, you know, we're going to... We can start getting promotions at work now, and also, we make quite good money from selling our paintings. Jack's home. He's home and he's pissed off. What's wrong? What happened? Just an annoying school day. Oh, okay. Right, I think you're both a bit grumpy. I think you both need to take a nap. Every time I send her to sleep, she keeps getting back up because she's so energised. You're clearly not energised. Look at you. You're exhausted. You know what could be a good idea? Seeing as we're so tired and Jack's home... I think let's invite Patrick over, introduce him to Jack, and maybe he can, like, babysit for us while we try and get some sleep. Could be a nice little bonding experience. Okay, Patrick is here, but I think he's outside, so I might just send Jack outside. We'll let Mum get some sleep, and then maybe Jack and Patrick can shoot some hoops or something. Jack, come and introduce yourself to Patrick. Say hello. Just be nice. Don't be weird, okay? Should we see if he wants to maybe... Maybe if we start a group with Patrick. Should we see if he wants to shoot around together? Crystal's gone into labour already. Are you serious? Oh my god. Just when I was going to take a nap. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's come and pet Crystal. I can't believe she's gone into labour. Give her a hug. Poor little thing. Okay, there isn't an option for me to, like, soothe her yet. So I guess she's just in early labour. But let's just... Stick with the cat. Don't leave her on her own. She's probably frightened. And uh, Jack, how are you getting on? That's Patrick's active wear, is he? He wears a helmet. Okay. Well, this is a good opportunity for you two to bond. And also, it's probably a good idea for Jack to stay away from the cat while she's giving birth. I don't want him to see Crystal like that. So you boys just have a good time. Is that the cat's water breaking or something? Right, come and mop this up. And then we'll scratch favourite spot. We won't lecture Crystal. We won't lecture her about anything right now. We'll just be supportive. 
Maybe we'll give her a treat? Something nice? This is the one time I'm not going to try and yell at you for jumping on the counters, Crystal, so you make the most of it. Oh, I think Jack's getting scared because it's dark outside and he's afraid of the dark. Well, he's building some kind of relationship with Patrick, at least, so that's, you know, that's something. And then we're just pampering the... Pampering Crystal on the couch. How long does cat labor last? Like three hours? Oh, oh, I think she's giving birth now. I can hear the baby music. You could do it, Crystal. Just breathe. Just breathe. React to cat birth. React to cat birth. Well, how many births are there going to be? Two? Okay, we have one baby. A baby girl. Well, they can all have our surname, Conway. So the baby girl, we'll call her Cookie. Another girl, okay. Okay, I can deal with two, Luna. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Please let this be the last one. Three. Okay, what should we call the boy? Um, can't think of a cute boy kitten name, so Dennis. Ah, oh, triplets. Okay, okay. Where's the other one? Over there, falling over. Okay, she's hiding under the couch. Well, you did this. Can't run away from your responsibilities. Okay, well, now that the kittens are born, I guess Jack... You can come upstairs now. Come upstairs and see the kittens. What am I going to do with four cats? I suppose mum and dad might be able to take a couple of them. Well, this has been a very hectic day. I think we're all a bit tired. Jack, maybe you can just grab yourself some leftovers. Oh, also maybe clean out that spoiled food. Brooke, I know that you are absolutely exhausted, so just go to bed. Also, I just remembered that Crystal is a very talkative cat, and I think that all of her kittens have inherited that because there's a lot of meowing going on around here. See, Crystal's taken herself to Jack's bedroom. She wants a break from the kittens as well. So, me so much meowing. Crystal, can you just give him a hand? Can you be a parent, please? We had an unexpected pregnancy as well. We stood up to the plate, Crystal, okay? This is your time to shine. Oh, yeah, you can't read under the covers because you're scared of the dark. Okay, finally, finally we're asleep. Okay, and then we'll just take a nice shower. It's the weekend, so I'm thinking maybe we'll go to the park. See if we can finally finish learning how to ride a bike. Brooke, maybe what we'll do is we'll fill up and we'll, we'll take a shower, we'll fill bowl. I might just buy another pet bowl because one is a bit much for four cats to share. I will eventually find a home for these cats, but for right now, they've only just been born. They're still babies. They still need their mum. We'll keep hold of them for a little while. Oh, are we working today? Oh, okay. I didn't realise we worked on Saturdays. All right, well, we are going to go to work today, and instead, Jack, maybe you could take Patrick to the park, and he could supervise you while you learn to ride a bike. We'll just quickly fill up the bowls, clean the litter box so the cats have a good environment. Okay, Brooke's gone to work. Jack, come and fix the letterbox, please, and then throw that trash away, and then we'll go to the park. You still got your bike in your inventory? Yes. Okay, cool, cool. So I think in order to overcome your fear, you have to be confident at night. So hopefully if we try and learn to ride a bike while we're at the park, we might just... If we stay there until it gets dark, we might overcome our fear, possibly. Ask Patrick to help with riding a bike. Huh, your needs aren't really that great, are they? Okay, let's just do a quick needs fill, okay? I'm just gonna have you wash your hands a few times. It's as good as having a shower. No food going spare. Maybe we'll just practice riding our bike until maybe someone decides to start cooking. I don't know where Patrick's gone. I guess he had better things to do. Oh, we are quite hungry and tired. Oh, he has a want to become friends with Patrick. That's really sweet. Okay, there's a food stand over there. How about we just get ourselves a hot dog and then take a nap? If anything, this might be a blessing in disguise because then we'll learn how to ride a bike in the dark and we'll get confident. Oh, Brooke's back and she got promoted to Canvas Creator. Okay, she's level five. Well, Brooke, why don't you come over here? Oh, you're really tired as well. Okay, fine, take a nap. Why are you both so tired all the time? I take care of you guys well. Okay, it's dark. We're scared, but that's okay. That's okay. We'll just go and use the bathroom and then practice riding our bike. And hopefully, if we can learn to ride a bike while we're out here, then we'll overcome our fear of the dark. Or actually, one thing you could do if you need to be confident, could potentially use one of the sinks to brush your teeth. Okay, go and brush your teeth, and then that will give you at least a confident mood buff. All those naps didn't seem to help. 
I guess maybe we're better off just going home. Okay, Jack, um, grab leftovers, go to sleep. Brooke, spray the monster under the bed and then you can go to sleep as well. Oh shit, Brooke, you've got work in one hour. You're working the full weekend. Okay, well we have Monday off at least. And we have everything we need, so maybe, maybe we'll get to career level six today. That would be good. Okay, off you go. And then tomorrow on our day off, maybe we'll try and actually make some money so that we can work towards getting a house, especially now we have all these bloody cats. Kind of desperately need a house. So Jack, we're just gonna fill your needs quickly and then we'll go outside and we'll practice riding a bike. We are going to get there, Jack, one way or another. In fact, you're focused, so you're in the best mood to learn how to ride a bike. And you've got all these adults around in case you fall flat on your face. Even Nancy's watching over you. Oh, I feel like he's so close. Catherine Conway would like to come over. Yeah, come on. Why not? Learned how to ride a bike. Okay, if only you could have done that when the sun was down. But well done, Jack. I wonder what his um, milestones look like. Learn to ride a bike. Energy failure. Lost tooth first day of school. Aw. Quite a few toddler ones as well. And then quite a few infant ones. Well, maybe let's go back up to the flat because I think your grandma's going to be here soon. Oh no, Cookie's uncomfortable. Why? Let's ask her what's wrong. Oh, Brooke's back with a nice hefty bonus. Okay, Brooke, let's fill all the pet bowls, clean out the litter box. In fact, that's probably what's wrong with Crystal. She's probably sick of the smell of that disgusting litter box. And then Brooke, maybe we'll take a shower. Maybe we'll watch TV and then we'll see if we can do a few paintings. And Jack, seeing as you're pretty happy, maybe you should... Do a few interactions with some of the kittens, just so that they're getting, like, enough attention. Oh, this is nice, watching TV with Catherine. Yeah, it's quite sweet, really. Okay, well, our fun is in the green. We're going to get tired soon. So let's just sell this, and then maybe we'll do just a few paintings. Maybe do a figure painting. I've got that house in my sights, and we're only <laughs> ten grand away from it. But we never did do that business plan, did we? We could do that. Also, what if I try my unlocked easel? I might make better quality paintings. Oh, Jack, can you come clean the litter box? These cats are filling it up like no one's business. Okay, how much is this worth? Over a thousand simoleons, that's pretty good going. That is not bad at all, Brooke. That's a pretty cool painting. Only worth 886 simoleons, though. Oh no, are you getting burned out again? Oh. Okay, let's sell this. Right, well, if you're getting burned out, then let's just do, um, let's just do a business plan. I don't know how I can, thing is, I can't do the research plan without, without quitting my current job. I mean, I currently finish at 4 p.m. What if I did, could I do this one? If this one's nine till 11, could I not do two jobs at the same time? Should Brooke switch activity, she will quit her current position. Oh, no, let's just sleep. Okay, Jack's gonna go to school, cause it's Monday. And then Brooke, I think let's do a figure painting on our new easel as soon as we clean out the litter tray. Oh, we also need to fill all the pet bowls. How much is that worth? 1,000, okay, okay, not bad. If we can get maybe like 10 grand, I'd be pretty happy with that. That would get us in a really good position to move house in the next episode. In fact, Ugh, well now I know which one I'm going to give to mum and dad. In fact, we could potentially ask Patrick to move in with us. He'll have some money, and also Jack seems to like him. Oh, a masterpiece for 3,000 simoleons. Oh, shut up. Look at that, 12 and a half grand. Well, on that note, I think we've, we've had our fair bit of dramas today, but we've achieved a lot. It doesn't feel like I've achieved a lot, but we have. We overcame burnout, we had kittens, Jack met our boyfriend and learned to ride a bike. Spent some quality time with our good pal, Rachel. So on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.